Hello, welcome to Robot Operating System for Beginners. In this session, we will be discussed about ROS computation graph. Let's get started. So this is the ROS core we are creating initially when we are opening our uh, uh, just terminal. We will first create the ROS core. Okay, so this is a master. So after that, so we have some content uh, which are related to subscribers and some content which are related to publisher. Okay. Now, if you focus, I just simply open Turtle Sim node. Okay, so this is a subscriber part. This is a subscriber part. Whenever I just created this node, Turtle Sim simulator node, it will inform to the ROS. Okay, and by the way, first we have to run the ROS code. Unless and until if you are not run the ROS code, so this Turtle Sim will not open. Okay, so I will explain this. This I will explain by uh, just doing paralleling with you. Okay. So just inculcate the basics. So before starting the simulation, just I have a glance here. So how these will be connected to the master. Okay. So I have one subscriber which is inform informed to the master. Okay. I am here. I am just I am just subscriber uh, with a name called Turtle Sim node. And at the same time, I am creating teleop key. Okay. Teleop key is nothing but by the use of keyboard. By the use of keyboard, you can give the uh, turnings and forward backward motion to your robot okay and this is a publisher why because you are giving the instructions right so you are giving the instruction using keyboard so that's why you're calling as a publisher and these keywords will be followed by the your robot in turtle sim so that's why this is called subscriber okay so whenever you just open uh, teleop node so whenever you just open teleop node in your terminal so it will inform to your master Okay, so it will automatically find your master, which is raw score, and it will inform. Okay, I am just open. I am the publisher. I am just ready to publish my data. So it will inform to the master, right? So next, what it will do when I am just giving the commands with the arrow marks? So these commands will be just given to the subscriber in the third step. Okay, so if you focus third step, and we are not uh, just fourth step is also possible. Uh, sometimes master will crashes. Unexpectedly, you just stopped uh, working of this master. So at that time, also publisher can able to send the messages to the subscriber directly. Okay, so that feasibility is there. So in this arrow marks, what I am trying to say in first step, subscriber informed to the master. I am the subscriber, and second step, teleop keynote will uh, tells to the master. I am the publisher. And in the third step, from the commands received from the publisher, it will give it to the subscriber through the master. And this fourth step indicates sometimes if unexpectedly master will crashes, we can also send the commands directly to the subscriber. Okay. So in all these information boxes, publisher node and this info, you can you can check the teleop turtle one command one node, right? Turtle one command velocity, geometry message, right? Some IP address. So this information is there. So why? Because every time if you are create the node, it has its unique identity, right? So and it has own list, topic leads, and node leads, etc. Okay. So this is a overall path of the computation graph. Okay. And that brings us to the end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for future updates. This is Srinivas signing off.